It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. No, Alana, it doesn't. A disability is a limitation of the body or mind. Disabilities have nothing to do with one's kids or any external stimuli unrelated to playing the game. Children are not disabilities. They are responsibilities. They have nothing to do with playing the game. And if you believe a real-time video game with multiplayer options is more important than your kid or anything else, that's a whole other issue. You have a two-year-old, you're trying to play Elden Ring, you can't pause. It is a situational disability that you have, where the game not having the option for you to be able to pause, for example, is a hindrance for your particular... Having a family member is not an example of a situational disability. If so, then any external factor would be like someone ringing the doorbell or a phone call or the kettle boiling. Situational disabilities impact one's physical or mental capacities, not one's responsibilities to one's family. Watching your child stab a fork in an outlet while you're playing Elden Ring means you're extremely negligent or your child's an idiot. Actual examples of situational disabilities include accidentally breaking your arm while ice skating, missing an important phone call in a loud restaurant, being unable to hear because of an ear infection, having sensitive eyes after an eye exam, the weather. Jessica Alba had a situational disability where an allergic reaction to a hair product nearly made her go blind for a week. A member of the family, like a kid, is not a situational disability, and even if it were, Elden Ring can't help you with that. I do. I have tendonitis in both of my wrists from playing too many video games, unironically, that is a thing, from tapping too much. That is not the software developer's responsibility to fix. Maybe a hardware developer could create softer or more sensitive buttons, but not the game developer. What exactly do you want? The hotkey a rapid fire button? I have a lot of trouble with fighting games. I have a lot of trouble with any game that's really button mashy. If there are too many button prompts, I'm going to be in pain and have to like ice my wrist afterwards and not really be able to play it. Then buy a controller with auto fire. And here's the thing about accessibility in Elden Ring, where any of those things are concerned. I think there's a misunderstanding that people think disabled gamers, whoever else, want an easy mode. This is not the case. Tell that to Bioware, who brought in the Jennifer Hepler button, or the game Journo mode, to their next Dragon Age. This is not a precedent gamers, or gamers who actually care about gameplay, want. Because I want to be able to play Elden Ring the exact way that I want to be able to play it. And I feel like those people are shooting themselves in the foot because what if they get one of those temporary, situational, or short-term disabilities? You break your wrist and you're not going to be able to play Elden Ring. You have a kid, suddenly you can't play Elden Ring. Like, I feel like... Too bad, so sad, your dad, who I'm now imagining is neglecting you as a child while he's playing Super Mario or something. They say it when they don't have disabilities, but in 10 years when you do have some kind of disability, I feel like you're going to retroactively kind of regret that you were like, absolutely not, don't change anything. Give me an example of 10 years time where I'll have a disability and won't be able to play Elden Ring, if I'll even care. You have yet to give one example of any disability and one solution for that disability that a game like Elden Ring can provide. Perfectly fine, but I would have liked just a little something at the end, even an achievement, to give me the credit for doing the hardest fights on what is effectively the hardest in-game possible difficulty because I didn't have those accessibility options on. So your complaint is that you want a meta goal, like an achievement from like Xbox or Steam or something? Okay, yeah, fuel your ego but you're still not answering the problem of accessibility due to a disability of some kind. Give me an example of a disability and its solution that From Software needs to give players. Is it people with no hands? Deformed fingers? Carpal tunnel? Blindness? Is it, is it a software feature? Is it a new controller? What are you talking about? And now we have this gem... Elden Ring is already the most accessible FromSoft game. If you're complaining about Shadow of the Tree being too hard, you don't have to play it. You are definitely allowed to criticize them. And I also think you should explore more because you will find another build or another means to make things easier. Like, I think you're being impatient is probably what's happening realistically. This is for people who obviously don't have accessibility problems. But what if 
so that we could actually allow disabled players to play these games, which is a thing I care about. You just, the end of the game, you just get a screen with all your stats. So Elden Ring is already super accessible, but it doesn't have an end screen with stats. What kind of disabled players need an end screen exactly? What kind of accessibility options do does this do for, like, what does that do? How does this solve anything, Alana? What are you even talking about? Give me a problem based off a disability and its proposed solution. What is so hard about that? It's a strike, obviously, but I, don't, I feel like I found kind of a solution. Let me know what you think. What is the problem? What's the solution? What the heck will an end screen with stats solve for people with disabilities, Alana? What are you talking about?